ahead of a 2024 governorship election, a member representing a circle federal constituency at the House of Representatives. Honorable De Kewi Anamero has cautioned against politics of turn by turn and the Nigerian army claims responsibility for airstrike which killed over 30 Kaduna villagers. I am Bola Oba and this is Plus Politics. Member representing a Sako Federal Constituency at the House of Representatives, Honorable De Kerry Sunday Anamero, has cautioned against turn by turn politics. He said reducing a do state to court, just mere turn by turn politics would be dangerous for our collective polity, economy, as well as the survival of the state. Unquote. Anamero is seeking the All Progressive Congress. Congress's APC's nomination in the gubernatorial poll stated over the weekend when he flagged off his campaign as he charged the people to beware of ill-prepared aspirants. Joining us live is Oseni Momodu, Senior Special Assistant Media and Publicity to Honorable Anamero De Kerry, Member House of Representatives and Frontline Governorship Aspirant in Edo State. Uh, good to have you. Thank you so much, Plus TV. Good evening to you. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, what is your principal bringing to this game? We now have had a number of uh, a number of uh, the. Uh, big and the and the glorious haven't declared. So, what is he bringing to the game? Well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate your invitation to Plus TV Africa. Uh, very quickly, uh, you have said it all. The Edo 2024 governorship election uh, is just around the corner, and uh, by the special grace of God, my principal. Honorable Anamero De Kerry, member representing a federal constituency and frontline APC aspirant in the next gubernatorial election in our dear state, by the special grace of God, will be bringing a lot of goodies to the people of Edo State. Of course, Anamero has been a man who stands for peace, who stands for progress, who stands for employment who stand for development, who stand for project, among others. Today, Honorable Anameru, by the special grace of God, has been a philanthropist. His philanthropic gesture over the last 12 years has brought a lot of goodies to the people of Edo State and beyond. As a gubernatorial aspirant, Contesting for the next election in Edo State, just on Saturday, when he officially declared interest to run for the governorship election, he reeled out uh, a campaign program which he coined on Christine as Veteran of Hope. He christened that uh, Veteran of Hope mainly because today in our, in our, in our, in this, in our state, Edo State, uh, many people have lost focus, many people have lost hope, and the only hope that we are aspiring, that we are craving for today in Edo State is Honorable Anamero De Kerry. The successive administration that we have had in our dear state have really done well, but we believe very well that by the special grace of God, ours, if given the opportunity, nominated and elected as governor, he will do better. If you look at the manifesto very clearly, an Amero promise to give free education to the people of Edo State if nominated and elected under the Unprogressive Congress. He also promised on health that by the special grace of God, if nominated and elected, he will try as much as possible by way of policy 
to ensure that the people across different territorial zones of Edo North, Edo Central, and in Edo South will be given fair treatment in terms of provision of facility in medicines. For example, if you listen to that program that was on Saturday, he said, he narrated a story where at a particular instance, while he was traveling within the, within the state, there was an accident which he had to stop by to, you know, to, to assist the victims. So they had to travel for distance before they could get, you know, head facility. And by the grace of God, even though as a philanthropist, he has been doing well for the people of those states, he has promised, and I know he will do it, that head uh, facilities across the state will be properly taken care of. The age, especially those who are retirees in the state, will also be properly taken care of. And of course, one, uh, one is just wondering. One Hello. is just wondering all these promises of free health, free education. Uh, uh, one is wondering if they've been costed. Is uh, talk is cheap? Uh, when when this aspirants, I said talk is cheap. Uh, have all these promises been costed because they won't come? You know, they they, they won't come free. Somebody would have to pay. How is he going to generate the money to deliver these promises? Well, uh, I need to quickly remind you that Anamero Dekeri grew from humble background. He is a businessman. He is an employer of labor. And today, somebody who grew his business from scratch, and today he is an international business uh, empire just everywhere. So if Adamero could, could, could grow his business from, from the scratch as block molding, uh, uh, block molding merchant to becoming produce buyer and now an oil merchant in the international uh, business, you can be rest assured that if given the opportunity, nominated and elected as governor of Edo State, he will, he will do everything within his power to generate you know, resources to be able to embark on this uh, on these promises that he has made. Of course, uh, everywhere in the world, citizens pay taxes. When they pay taxes, they use the same tax the same taxes to impute on implementation on policies to be able to drive on all that is needed. Uh, today, in those states. We have arable land where agricultural produce are being produced. And Amero also promised that if given the opportunity, nominated and elected as governor of Edo State, he will capitalize on that to embark on massive industrialization in times in terms of agriculture and others to be able to generate uh, revenue. Again, there are other things that, by the grace of God, that uh, the government of Anamero de Kerry will be able to tap into to, to, to bring out uh, these, um, you know, taxes to raise and implement uh, campaign promises. Would you, per chance, today, would you per, per chance know that the tax net in, uh, in Edo State is one of the, one of the smallest in the South South, uh, the internally generated revenue of Edo State relative to some other states are not quite much. So I'm hearing you speaking to your principal using tax revenue, which is part of uh, the internal generated revenue to deliver industrialization, mechanization of agriculture, free education, free health service, I, I, I think uh, you guys need to sit down all over again and have a very tidy, tidy manifesto. Don't you think so? Hello? Are you there? 
Okay, we're going to a short break, and when we're back, we take it on from the next segment. I think, uh, fortunately, uh, the telephone line or uh, the the bandwidth has not been quite favorable to the gentleman, and uh, it's about time we moved on. Thank you. See you after the break.